today we will learn one of the important part of the physics as well as the in the mechanics that is force how can define force and how can you understand yourself what is force now let us consider a plane ab ab is a plane ab is a plane and a block is here this is the block now the position of the block is at p now the block is at rest if you try to change the position of the block on the plane ab then either you have to push the block or pull the block then the position of the block changes now the position of the block changes from p to the q on the plane only when it is pushed or pulled or pull the block then the position of the block changes similarly when a cycle is moving on the road then what happen then to stop the cycle or to slow down the cycle we apply brakes when we apply brakes then we apply the something that resist the motion of the cycle as a result the cycle goes slow similarly when we enter in a room we have to push the door or pull the door to enter into the room that means force is that physical force which can change or tends to change the state of either rest or uniform motion of a body in a straight line let us imagine a ball is moving on the floor if you just place your hand in the direction of motion of the ball the ball comes to at rest similarly in case of the motion of the pendulum when the pendulum swings in this direction if you just touch it then we see that the pendulum goes slow now the pendulum execute its motion but the motion is retarded so force can move a body from rest force can here move the body from rest mathematically mathematically from newton's second law newton second law of motion we can write the force that is f equal mass m into acceleration into acceleration a that is very simply f equal m a this is the mathematical form of the force but when force is applied on a body there are so many number of changes occur the first one that are called the effects of force the first one it can move a body from rest move a body from rest also it can stop a moving body it can stop a moving body stop a moving body when applied in the opposite direction of motion in other hand it can accelerate a moving body if the ball is moving on the floor in this direction and if you push the ball in the same direction of motion then the ball moves fast that means it can accelerate accelerate a moving body it can accelerate a moving body similarly a ball is moving in a sloping surface in an inclined plane if we just touch the ball in the opposite direction of the motion the ball goes slow or when we apply brake in case of the moving body like the cycle motorcycle four wheeler etc then we see that the body goes slow that means retardation 
force can retard force can retard retard a moving body when applied in the opposite direction of motion similarly when batsman hit the ball when batsman hit the ball then what happen then the direction of the moving body changes when batsman hit the ball the direction of the moving body changes or in case of the playing badminton racket when one just push it push the cork then the direction of the block cork changes from here to here so force can change the direction of a moving body direction of a moving body moving body these are happen in case of the rigid body this happens in case of rigid body only in case of the rigid body these are the effects of force but in case of the non rigid body like the pouch of the toothpaste a newly toothpaste tube is almost cylindrical in shape but after use the shape of the toothpaste is not cylindrical in shape it set changes and it becomes a thin sheet like so force can change the shape of a moving body it can change the shape of a moving body change the shape of a body but this happen only in case of the non rigid body in case of non rigid body these are the effects of force and as force is a physical quantity and it has magnitude and direction so it is a vector quantity so it has some particular unit that are units of force units of force in considering the units of force there are two types of unit absolute unit and gravitational unit in absolute unit in case of the absolute unit of force in mks mks or in si unit that will be the unit of mass that is kilogram kilogram and acceleration meter per second square that is denoted by newton this is newton only simply n in cgs in cgs this is gram centimeter per second square this is dyne this is dyne and in fps in fps that will be pound foot per second square in case of the unit we cannot use the cross sign for its multiplication form we have to use the hyphen that's why here the mass into acceleration mass into acceleration but represented by a hyphen here in the hyphen indicates they are in the multiplication form this is the pound foot per second square this is equal pound dal pound dal and in another system of unit that is the gravitational unit of force that are the gravitational unit of force in similar way in mk unit this will be kgf kilogram force sometimes also written as kilogram weight in cgs this will be gram force here force f and in fps unit this will be pound force pound force like all other physical quantities like the 1 kg equal 1000 g and also other some physical quantities there is a standard relation between them here also there is a standard relation between the newton dyne newton pound dal pound dal dyne kilogram force newton all these units are related with one another the relation between them 
relation 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 between relation between a let us consider number 1 number 1 newton and die newton and die what is the relation between them the standard relation is 1 newton equal 10 to the power 5 die this is the standard relation between newton and die and for every unit full stop cannot be used after the use of it when we write the unit die we cannot use the full stop here similarly in case of another two relation between the pounder and dial pounder and dial also there is a standard relation between them 1 pounder 1 pounder equal 13825 dial 13825 Die. Similarly, another one relation is here. That is one. That is kilogram force and newton. Kilogram force and newton. One kg of one kg of one kilogram force equal nine point eight newton. similarly another one relation between the gram force and the dial but this is not necessary but here i mention 1 gram force equal 980 dial gram force and dial gram force and dial 1 gram force equal 980 dial okay these are the relations between the units of force if we consider the dimension of it what will be the dimension of the force yes as force is a physical quantity so we can write the dimension of it also here we write the dimension of the force dimension of force dimension of force the dimension of force will be the dimension of m mass and dimension of acceleration l t to the power minus 2 so this is the dimension of force m l t to the power minus 2 m l t to the power minus 2 l t to the power minus 2 stands for the dimension of acceleration into mass that is m okay so this is the force in very brief i think you easily understand the force okay